All right, here we go across the Gandhi Bridge again. Here we go. Why do the bridges go up high above the ocean, above the water? To let the big ships go under. How high up does Howard Franklin go? I don't know. High enough to let the big ships go. In the middle. Uh, so it helps, it helps with the wind hitting the side of it. The curves kind of knock, the curves kind of deflect the wind, so the wind isn't hitting it all full broadside. It kind of breaks it up a little bit. Gotcha. That makes sense. I did not know that. I knew about the ships going under. And if you want to find out why they do that, look up the Tacoma Narrows Bridge. Okay. You can see the traffic going across Howard Franklin. How far away is Howard Franklin? Engineers, not aeronautical engineers. Yep. I read a big Wikipedia article on the Tacoma Bridge. How far away is Howard Franklin? Uh, I don't know. Probably about. Probably about an eight or ten miles yeah. off of 275. I'd say eight or ten. We'll do lots of bridges while you're here. My favorite's the Rainbow Bridge. Sunshine Skyline Sky Bridge, yeah. Cross here a little hard. <laughs> Concrete on these bridges makes the funniest sound. It sounds like a duck, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. oh. Kind of. Why, why does the concrete make that sound? Though? It's the texture, it's the wheels. Mm, just like that. Yeah. Remember the one coming from Greensburg that goes. Oh, yeah. Which one? Which bridge? Uh, New Stamp. Coming from uh, Greensburg to Forty-six. There's actually some little ducks out on that water. Oh yeah. Looks like it'd be too rough for them, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a pretty calm day out there. A lot of traffic going across two seventy, going on two seventy-five today. Mm -hmm. It's a holiday weekend, honey. I think this is just about as long as Howard Franklin. Howard Franklin's like four miles long. Jeez. Almost three and a half minutes. 